Hey everyone, hopefully we are all enjoying our projectile shooting. And this is probably going to be the last tutorial I can fit in uh, before the demo runs out. And my plan is to buy the engine on the next cell and continue these tutorials as I learn more. So this last one is going to be about tidying up the programming section. Uh, as we can see, we've got all these lines going everywhere. It's it, it's starting to feel a little more cluttered than it was when we just had the, the idle and the walk. It's readable, but there is a way to clean it up a little bit. And so today, I'm going to introduce you to what Pixel Game Maker calls common actions. And in RPG Maker, you will be you're familiar with common events. They're very similar um, programs. So we're going to click this on. We're going to hit OK. And again, this doesn't really change, but it does add the common actions to the tab here. So let's see what, first off, let's see what we can add. So, oh yeah, when you do add it, a box appears. You can recolor it. I'm going to color it green and it just kind of stays right there. So we've got some inputs. If you've got any kind of action that just does an input, it might qualify for a good action to be in a common action. So we have an outside like a walking. I, I want to keep walking on, on this, on the grid here. But our sword attack, it's if we press A. And our sword bullet attack, it's if we press B. So instead of having all of these conditions setting from walk to an idle to do sword bullet attack and walk and idle to do sword attack, we can actually just skip all that and just say, if A is pressed, you can do this. If B is pressed, you can do this. And then you could even go further to say, if B is pressed and this switch is it on or if B is pressed and this variable is this so that you can get really specific common actions. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add sword attack and sword bullet attack to common actions today. So let's first off see what sword attack is and it does no runtime action. It ignores movement, ignores detection and then the it goes it leaves the action when the motion plays to the end. Okay. So that's pretty simple. So let's go to common action and let's name it sword attack. And we're going to set it to the sword attack motion, not set. And we're going to ignore the inputs. And that was all it was. All right. So we can move this over here to better see it, even though it's pretty hard to see, actually. Let's see if we add another one. Yeah. Okay. So you can click off. We need another one anyway, so let's just name it while we're here, sword bullet attack. And I guess we can actually set it up while we're here, sword attack and ignore, ignore. So let's go back to the sword attack and you'll see an arrow before it and an arrow after it. And the arrow before it is what the condition to enter this common action. So let's click on that. And the condition to enter is that we are going to press A, because this is just the normal one. So we're gonna press A, it will enter sword attack, and then to leave, all the condition was is if motion plays to the end. And then, so we click that, and that's done. Let's test this one out real quick. So let's go back to action program. Oh, our actions moved here, so. Okay, okay, so you might have to do a little moving around. Let's put our sword attack like that. There we go. So here's our sword attack. And here's our sword bullet attack, which we have not set up yet. And it looks like you can, okay. So yeah, you can kind of adjust it around as you, as you please. And so we do have the sword attack. It even shows what it does. And so now we can delete the sword attack from our grid. And let's test it out and see if the sword attack works. So you're moving sword attack. 
moving still, sword attack, sword attack, idle, sword attack. Okay, so that works. The sword attack works. So now let's get the, the bullet attack in here. So let's look. The input is B, so it just takes pressing B to happen right now. It ignores, just like we have it set up already, but it also fires the bullet. So we do have to make sure we put this. So I'm going to copy this, go to common actions, go to the sword bullet attack, and I'm going to paste. Okay, so we got that portion done. And now what was the leaving? What was, okay, it was just if motion plays to the end. So we're going to go set up the condition to go into sword bullet attack, and that is if the following is pressed, and it was the B, the B button, and then we do the sword bullet attack uh, action, and then we leave when the motion plays to the end. So now that we have the common action set up, we can now delete the sword bullet attack. And now we can make this nice and tidy. And let's test this out. We have our sword attack, sword bullet attack, common actions, just kind of chilling with our walking checks. All right, and we're going to play. And we're going to be walking around, and we're going to... Uh, shoot the bullet all right that works and we're going to do it from idle that works and we're just going to do the normal sword swing that works sword swing while we're walking that works so as you can see everything works detects everything everything is working as intended so this is a really cool option to have and i am assuming that this will be a a lot of abilities will go into this common actions thing since it does really relieve a lot of the clutter that this program action area can can have so that's it for this and i will hopefully be with you soon